Well, Gaffer, a first win here for the club in 13 years. How did your players achieve that this afternoon? Just from hard work, you know, hard work. The, the, the lads were fantastic with them about the ball today. Uh, first 20 minutes, I thought we were very good. Uh, we let them in, in have more possession that we'd like uh, for that last 15 minutes, and they put a lot of pressure on our goal. But the way the, the lads uh, stood up to that, I, I was very pleased. Uh, came in at half time, and um, you know they they led it themselves really again, and you know they realised that we needed to be better with the ball. You know, I thought we were on the turnover, we were very loose with the ball in that first half, and you know um, and put a bit more pressure on them uh, in vital areas, uh, and which we did second half. You know, I thought we were excellent with the ball, and, and without the ball second half. Yeah, you mentioned you know, being excellent without the ball. How did the players get to that level where they're comfortable with the opposition having the ball as they were in that first half? Um, I, I, again, just hard work on the training field. You know, I've said from day one, the lads, the way they've applied themselves, they've listened to what we want. It's been different class. The attitudes of the group, the staff, have been brilliant. Um, so, you know, we keep working hard. We want to be competitive in every game we want to play. We want to be hard to play against. And, and I think we are, you know, even in the early early stages of the, of the season, you know, the, the results didn't go our way, but we were in the games against tough, tough teams. And, you know, we, we were able to um, blood our youth, our young players through in them difficult games and you know now they're coming on and finishing games at, at really at, at good championship le level so um, you know to finish with JJ Hawley and uh, Job as that middle three is, is, is you know is exciting for the future. Mm -hmm. We scored goals at good times in the game this afternoon let's talk through them Christian Bielik gets pulled down for the first was Hull's vulnerability from set play something you identified before the game? Yeah listen uh, it doesn't matter um, who we play against Matt Gardner works his socks off on the set plays you know he sees the weaknesses he sees the strengths he's you know, he, he's constantly on that, and um, you know, we certainly, we certainly saw today that there was certainly areas that we could exploit, and we we're fortunate to get the penalty, um, and it was brilliant for Big Troy to, to put it away. <laughs> Janino Bakuna smashes one in from 25 yards, but I want to talk about his overall contribution this afternoon. Played as a right wing back for the first time. What did you make of it? He's excellent. You know, what a fantastic goal as well, you know. And I think that just shows the importance of, of our squad. You know, we can ask anyone to go and fill in anywhere and they'll do it. No problems. We have to rest players. There's no moaning. We've got no egos, no big time Charlies here. Everyone's just willing to, to fight for the course and, and, you know, and sweat blood for, for the team and the, and the club. Mm. You'd be forgiven for taking a step back at 2-0 up, but again, more and more chances were created. We've had a penalty as well, which Troy unfortunately sent over. Is that a good sign, the fact that now chances are starting to flow and you know, you're not relying on players being as clinical as they have to be because you know you're going to create another chance? No, it's, it's, we, no we, wanted a fin we wanted more goals and, and it's important that the boys are clinical. You know, Hull could have easily scored there in the last five minutes from a set piece or whatever and it puts the pressure on, it really does. So we, we need to be more clinical when we get them chances. It's, it is pleasing that we are getting the chances, but the boys have got to st stand up to it and, and really put them away. Mm. Just looking at sort of record-breaking games, it's the first win against West Bromwich Albion since 2005 at the Hawthorns, the first win here in 13 years, it's the first team to score against Preston earlier in the season. What does that say about this group and them potentially just creating their own story? Yeah, listen, I've said from day one, you know, it's going to be a really difficult season, but the way we get through it is by working hard, sticking together and, and not worrying about anyone else. You know, we care about this football club now, this fantastic football club and, uh, and, the, and the group I've got in there from day one have been, their attitudes have been unbelievable and, um, you know, if we keep working hard and just being competitive in every game, you know, it gives us an opportunity, doesn't it? We've got a really good squad of players, you know, who are willing to do whatever it takes to win games and to stay in games. Game. So, you know, it was very pleasing today and, um, you know, we get back to training tomorrow and we, can, and we get ready for a really tough game against Burnley on Wednesday. Mm. And they look like they're enjoying their football at the moment as well. How much licence do you give them to express themselves out on the pitch? We, listen, we've got fantastic footballers there, haven't we? You know, but the, the key thing to me is that we've got good footballers, but they want to do the other side as well. You know, it's important that the first thing we are is hard to play against. You know, um, and we're competitive. And although we've got some fantastic footballers, they want to do that other side. You know, so you know things are things are okay. Yeah, and you mentioned Burnley there. Next up on Wednesday night at St Andrews, I'm sure they'll get the respect of you and your players, but it's certainly not a challenge that they're going to fear. Uh, not the, listen, the boys will, will be set up. We know it's going to be a really difficult game. They're a top team. I went and watched them yesterday. You know, they, they really blew Swansea away. You know, they've got quality players in all areas. You know, they've got Premier League squad there. Fantastic manager, good experience. But, you know, we'll be ready. We'll be prepared. And, you know, I really want St Andrews 
uh, rocking on Wednesday night. We need that support, you know, and really get behind the boys on Wednesday and, and, and start creating a fantastic atmosphere at, at the football club. Mm. Very finally, you've mentioned the support there back at St Andrews, but how good were, was that corner behind you over there? Brilliant, you know, brilliant, and it's the same every week, you know, home, home and away, you know, we know that they're right behind the boys, you know, and that's what I wanted to, to bring to this football club, that, that connection again with the players and the fans, and um, we certainly got that at the moment, and the support was was a uh, different class today, and uh, we're all very, very grateful. Thanks as always, Gaffer. Thank you.